What's going on filmmaking homies? It's your boy Cody Blue and today I've got a super quick video for you guys talking about how to add real handheld camera movements to your static footage in Premiere Pro. Now if you watched my video last week you saw that I did a little cinematic intro for that video where I basically had my girlfriend shoot a bunch of footage of me that was entirely handheld. Now there was one clip in there, the very last clip that you guys are seeing right now, that I had to shoot on a tripod because obviously I'm in the shot, my girlfriend's in the shot, and I have nobody else to shoot that shot for me. So in order to make it fit in with the rest of the footage, I had to add a little bit of handheld camera movement. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to do it. That way you can add a little bit of handheld camera movement to your shots when maybe you have to use a tripod because you're filming yourself or something like that. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro and we'll check it out. All right guys, so welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Now this is probably gonna be the easiest tutorial that I've ever done on my YouTube channel. And when I first found out about this, I couldn't believe how easy it was to add real organic looking handheld camera movements to your static footage. So it's a super simple process and it shouldn't take you guys a lot of time at all. So before we jump in, let's go ahead and show you guys what this clip looks like full screen, just so you can get an idea of the before and after. So let's take a look at this clip. So as you can see, it is a static clip because like I said, I did shoot it on a tripod, but now we want to add some organic handheld camera movements to it just so that it fits a little bit better with all the other handheld footage that we shot. Now, in order for this technique to work, you have to have a second clip that was actually shot handheld. So it doesn't matter if you shot it today or if you shot it yesterday or if you wanna just go outside right now and shoot it, but you need to shoot a clip that actually has some handheld camera movement in it. Now, like I said, my girlfriend did shoot all of this footage handheld already, so I already have some clips that have a lot of good movement in them. If I show you guys this clip, you can see that it kind of bounces around a little bit and it just has that handheld look because it was actually shot handheld. But now we can take that information and actually apply it to our static clip. So how do we do that? It is super easy. You're just going to go ahead and take that clip that has camera movement in it and put it on top of your static clip. Then you wanna nest those clips together. So just highlight both clips, right click on them and click nest. Go ahead and click okay. And now we have a nested clip with both clips with our handheld camera movement on top. Now we're gonna go into our effects. We're gonna choose our warp stabilizer effect and drag that onto the nested clip. Now while that's analyzing, go ahead and come into your effects controls, come down to your result here and click no motion. And then for your method, go ahead and choose position, scale, and rotation because we don't really want any sort of warping or subspace warp in our camera movement. We just want it to be organic position, scale, and rotation. So let's go ahead and let that analyze and then we'll come right back. All right, so warp stabilizer finished analyzing and now we have a stabilized version of our handheld clip. Not exactly what we are hoping for, but if you double click on your nested sequence, it's going to pull up both of those clips. Then all you need to do is delete that top clip. And now we have all of the information that the warp stabilizer captured being applied to our static clip. So now going back to our original sequence, we can show you guys what this clip looks like full screen after all of this has been applied. And as you can see, we've got some nice organic looking handheld camera movement and it didn't really take any time at all. So let's go ahead and do it to one more pair of clips and then we'll go ahead and close this one out. So in this instance, we've got a shot of me just like sitting on a dock in front of this mountain. And again, it's a tripod shot, so it's totally static. It doesn't have any camera movement whatsoever. But what I did is I shot this clip literally outside the window of my office with a little bit of handheld camera movement. So I'm gonna take this handheld shot, put it above my static shot. I'm gonna highlight both clips, right click, nest those clips, go ahead and click okay, and then drag on my warp stabilizer. Now, again, while that's analyzing, make sure you come down to your stabilizer settings, change result to no motion, change the method to position, scale, and rotation, and then wait for that to finish analyzing. And now that it's done stabilizing, we'll double click on our nested sequence, delete the top clip, 
and go back to our original sequence. And now we'll have a nice looking handheld shot. But that's how I'm adding handheld camera movements to my static clips. So there you go. A super easy way to add some realistic looking handheld camera movement to your footage. I can even make this shot look like it was shot handheld if I wanted to. Check it out. Yeah, nice handheld shot. Got a little bit of motion. Looks real good. But yeah, super easy. All you need is a shot that was shot handheld. You need your static shot that you're trying to make look handheld and a little bit of warp stabilizer magic. But that's pretty much all I had for you guys today. So do me a favor, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have questions, send them to me on Instagram. But until next time, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.